Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. One of the problems that we've had at our work, at my work, I should say, um, <clears throat> is backing up. And, you know, backup is always a large issue as far as what things should be backed up, how often should they be backed up. Um, and as far as FTP, it's usually backed up. Uh, sometimes it's not, sometimes it is, um, but it's not always backed up when it should be, and it's not always, it's just like the important files that we work on, not some of the, you know, if it's, an, if, if it's a file or a site that's using user-based uploads, then it's not going to sit there and back up the user-based uploads, it's just going to be our programming sites, or programming files. Um, and so this was a large issue, and something I really wanted to use was Subversion or some kind of revisioning software. But having the company sit there and learn how to make trunks, learn how to make uh, branches, and and learn how to you know just make a respiratory was not a very simple task, and it's not something my company really wanted to take a step into. Um, so what I took a uh, into my own hands was to generate my own little backup system and I have uh, this is using Python and within Python it's pushing uh, SQLite, FTP um, and CronTab's helping it along um, and then it's also using Pigments uh, or Pigments whatever it's called to do syntax highlighting um, and it's basic FTP backup, if you've ever used FTP backup, then you know it's fairly simple. Um, but it does only backup uh, based off date changes and not file changes. You know, so if you do like an MD5 off a file and you've only changed one text but the date has never changed, then it's not going to download. Um, so I've tried to keep it simple as far as, you know, just using date changes. Um, so to give you a little introdu introduction about this, uh, all it really does is backup files and databases. Uh, it doesn't have a very strong ba database backup as in it requires you to provide a URL that gives the database backup so it can download. It doesn't actually log into your SQL, MySQL server and, and download the, the backup by itself. So it is generic enough to use or allow you to use different um, databases as long as you provide that, that archive file for it can be grabbed through wget. Um, so, to be able to see some of the things that I've done, um, let me go into a really simple site here. Um, uh, as you can see, there's two revisions done for HC Access, and it was last modified on December 11th, 2009, which doesn't seem right. Anyways, um, I can go ahead and view it, and it is syntax highlight, um, and the same thing with PHP files here, so I can do a search for dot php to get all my php files and i can go to add event to revisions here and then i can view it and it gives me all this syntax highlighted um, another feature it has is uh snapshots and uh, you can put a specific date 2008 um 11 and i'm going to put actually just put 1201 and we can go ahead and grab this. Uh, what this then does is, you know, push everything from blob that are, from the blobs that are within SQL into a file system, onto your file system. Then compress them and then serve them to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And it is now downloaded. So I can go ahead and go to backup number three. And within that, should give me every file before December 30th, um, which it does. Um, and so that's that alone is a very good feature to have because you know there might be specific date you're like oh crap I need it back up to this date and you can do it. It's not time specific but it is date specific. I could very well make it time specific but I've just not had the need to do it. Um, and so yeah as you can see there's five revisions here and I can go, go directly to the file and see all the revisions. Um, so again, it's very, very simple. Uh, all I really am, why I am even doing this is to, you know, if you guys really want to use this, let me know. I'll create binaries. I have to create binaries because it's been partly worked on at work. So I can't just release the source code. Um, and I'll take in any suggestions to improve it. 
Um, and then I'll talk to my boss to see what I can do to actually just make this open source and let you guys play with it. Um, other than that, you know, just give me feedback through comments, ratings. Well, actually, rating isn't much of a feedback, but, you know, email messages. And if you do want to rate, just rate, please. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.